Okay, so take a look at this farmhouse style bed. As you can see, it's just a single bed right now. I'm gonna plan on making this into a bunk bed. So I'm basically going to mimic another twin size bed right above it. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. Right, take a look at this headboard. So it's pretty much one by fours on top and bottom and the other side and those are pretty much in between as one by six uh, just pine wood pretty much I use a nail gun uh, I use two inches at the top thickness and I also use one inch and one and a half inch I believe also so here's those uh, correct pocket holes and so you can see got on the top and bottom the thickness of this should be on top and the bottom is about two and a quarter. Then you got your one by six. Thickness is just um, three fourths of an inch. And so they're one by six board, but the actual thickness is three fourths of an inch. And let's see. So you got height is total 30 inches. And then you got your width is I believe 38 and a half. Right, let's check it out. I got the headboard up on top of the other headboard. Just use like metal plating. I gotta get um, a couple other angle type iron and I'll put on the other sides. I'm using about two inch screws through the four by fours and two and a half inch screws through the bottom. Like I said, I'll probably get both sides of that. And same thing with these beams. They're pretty much anchored in right now, but not fully until I get the other metal angle plates in there. So same thing, two and a half inch screws and two inch screws used. Just gotta make sure you pre-drill. And I'm probably gonna use two by sixes there, right there, to connect the headboard and the football. Okay, I just want to show you a little update. So here on this. I'm using four inch screws and the four inch sinker nails. And so and I got like a um, couple in between. Right, let's take a look at this error that I made. So basically this is the headboard, which kind of sits on top of this other bed. I should have used longer plates, uh, basically screwed it in more here. So this could kind of like sit flush. Well, I was able to level it out going across, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Take a look, so if you're working by yourself, make sure you get some of these um, clamps. You're able to hold the 2x2 and the 2x6 in place, so I'll need a second hand to hold this up, and so definitely need that. All right, a couple of issues I want to tell you guys is make sure your uh, wood and everything that you put in is leveled. Um, as you can see, this two by six beam, which stretches from the headboard to like the foot of the base, is leveled, as you can see the bubble right here. But the two by four beam that comes across here was not 
it was placed straight, but it, the wood was bent. It was not perfectly straight, and I didn't notice that. And it declines over time, so that's why you see I put place these shims to kind of level it out. And uh, I noticed it here when I was taking a level on this; it wasn't leveled, and so I didn't want to lift this wood up. I left it kind of like at the angle, and I just filled it in with shims. I'll probably use some um, wood caulking or just regular caulking and fill in this gap. But at least this here is leveled. And so, just keep in mind, even though you might be working at fully leveled, the wood that you get might not be leveled. All right, take a look at the bed progress so far. As you can see, pretty much converted the twin bed into a bunk bed. I added storage here at the bottom. I want to show you this LED lights that I put in. So pretty much I had like a power supply kind of on the back of that wall. I ran the wire kind of like hit it in a little bit back. Got the little switch and this is where your LED lights pretty much starts up. And so, it's pretty nice and neat. I just gotta get some electrical wire hanger to secure in place the, I guess the 3M tape wasn't that great. It starts to peel off, so I'll secure that a little bit more. Right now I just got some temporary um, nails. I so I wanted to show you the remote uh, for this. It's pretty cool too. There's a little sensor that comes with this. It's right there, it's a little sensor. And even though it's kind of like hidden, you can still hit it from a little bit far away. So here, got the change the lights pink, blue. There's like a couple other features with flashes and changes colors, fades in and out. I put this here just a little bit temporary, kind of like this right here. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of like almost the same level as the bed, but just a little bit a few inches below. It's kind of like to prevent the kids from slipping in there or things falling down. So I just put this temporary and I'll probably just move it up a little bit once I get the bed here. And so, um, here I'm able to find these twin beds pretty cheaply on Amazon. Uh, Zynus, I guess is the company. They're usually like under 150 bucks. So you get like the 10 inch springs, which is a nice deal. It's so now all I gotta do with this bed is, besides paint, sand, uh, let's put the side railings and I'll get pipe, try to figure out if I can put the, the ladder here or kind of like up there. So I'm not sure, I'll probably more likely go here. All right, so these LED, 3M tape that was uh, came with it starting to come off. So I'm gonna show you how to make these uh, kind of more of a permanent fix. Okay, so two things you're gonna need is pretty much these clips or coaxial staples and double-sided tape. This is called a permanent double-sided scotch tape. Again, it's by 3M, but I've used this before in the past and it works really well, especially on bare wood. The one thing with these is you're gonna have to clip them. So you're gonna have to take a, pretty much some cutters and clip off the long ends on both sides. I'm gonna show you. So like right here, as you can see, I've cut off the top and bottom. Okay, so I got the primer on and I'll probably wait another day or so to let it dry off fully. And then I'll probably paint it the same uh, lavender color. Because I use the latex um, paint, and so the bond's a little bit better. And um, I wanted to show you this castle design my daughter wanted. So I just probably put it about like nine, 10 inches above, above here because um, the mattress I'm getting is about 10 inches high or 10 inches thick. So that's I'm gonna show you how I built this. So like you see, I'm gonna just put some Craig screws 
and hit these posts on both sides. And I got these little uh, 1x4s on top. And I'm just uh, pretty much just uh, crack pocketed them to it to make it a little bit stronger so she doesn't like just break them off. They also uh, got wood glue on them too to make them a little bit stronger. So this is a 1x8 and I got 1x4s here. Okay, so take a look at the bed. I got the little castle design up. I fully didn't screw it in just because I want to make sure the height of the bed is actual 10 inches. But as you can see, I used a lot of Craig pocket holes. Same for this ladder I kind of built just on the side, just using 2x2s. Sanded them down so there's no like splinters. And I got pretty much uh, pocket holes on top and bottom. Same thing on both sides. And it's pretty sturdy, it's, it's definitely not going to move. So I just got to prime this up, paint it. Uh, I want to show you the paint that I'm about to do. So this is just a, a Gildan Pro. Um, just using like a lavender. It's a little, it's latex based. Um, latex definitely bonds much better. It takes longer to dry. I say give it a good two weeks, but you can see the rich color right here. Let me show you some of the thickness of the paint. I just peeled this off the paint, but as you can see, it's pretty, pretty thick and flexible. It's washable. That's why I use it for kids' furniture. So hopefully you'll be able to get the same one for your project. Okay, so quickly up when I'm up here, I want to talk to you about these side rail that I added on. It's just about one by five uh, board, and I got three pocket jigs on each side, keep it nice and secured. I left a gap here. Uh, as you can see, it's about an inch or so. Is basically, it's a little bit easier to put the sheets on. Uh, I learned that the hard way. If I don't, if you don't leave a gap, it gets uh, pretty hard to put the sheets on. I also left a pretty big gap here, about like four or five inches off the wall. But I added this platform here in case things fall off. Um, it'll just get caught right there. I'll show you. It's a little bit dark right here, but one of the reasons, main reasons, was I got that outlet and cable connection there on the side, so I didn't want to lose that um, maybe in the future or in, in a couple weeks I might just add a 1x4 over as like a shelf if uh, this area is not getting used that way she could be at least put her toys or something there and a couple of things I want to show you was I got these cast iron barnyard door handles kind of like um, little grips I'm gonna use for for them to climbing up it's about a total of 12 inches long and the grip area itself is about 9 inches so this is perfect length. Um, probably going to put like a railing here or a platform and I'll connect the other one. These come in a pair. I got these off of Amazon. They're less than like 18 bucks for the pair. You can't beat that. It's like solid cast iron steel so uh, I'll put the link on there for you guys. So. Tell me what you think, uh, if you got any ideas or anything I missed, let me know. I still do plan on putting some fairy lights and LEDs uh, to make it equal to the little one or else you know, I get a complaint from one little kid to the other. So, Okay, finally got the bed completed. I got the storage and I got the castle themed bunk bed finally done. I wanted to show you quickly that I did not put more than a single metal bracket on each of these 4x4s because the 2x6s and 2x4s that are holding this up are pretty sturdy. And I want to show you the LED lights, how they came out. Seems pretty cool. Can't get the kids to stop um, playing with the lights or jumping on top of the top end of it. As you, see, as you can see, I got the railing on the left and a railing on the right. And here's the barn handles, barn door handles. I got one here, I got one here. I added this on afterwards just because to keep the kids a little bit safe. Um, and I, as you can see, one handle is a little bit lower for climbing up and one is a little bit higher for climbing back down. So it helps them turn around and climb down safely. And so I just gotta paint this probably white. And it's pretty much done, like see, kids are already enjoying the bed and so hopefully you were able to use this video 
and make your own bunk bed or any design that you want. Please subscribe and comment and share. Thank you very much.